What's going on guys? I'm here today with a Super Nintendo cartridge. These things are sold all over the internet and a lot of people are interested in them. You can see these on Amazon and eBay. I believe I bought this on Amazon but it is no longer available. But on uh, eBay and other sites sell them like crazy still. And uh, it's a Super Nintendo 101. Comes with a decent sticker, decent shell. Although this does not come with it, so your dust, this dust cover right here doesn't come with it. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty decent uh, cartridge. And if you look here, just the preview of games that are on here, which are nine titles um, that are pretty good. So considering just these games that are on this sticker here, guys, just these games... Like Turtles in Time, you got Sunset Riders over there, Castlevanias over here. Um, just with these games alone, you should be pretty good. And uh, considering there's still about 90 more to go through. So it should be a good cartridge. I believe this will run you around $25. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the Super Retro Trio Plus, which is HDMI out. And uh, the, my Scanline generator is connected, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this in, and we'll see what it does. Alright guys, so I got it popped in. Let me use my wireless controller here. So I got it in. I'm going to go ahead and aim this right up here. So that way you guys can take a look at the list of games here. Uh, Appears to be a little crooked, but I think you guys will survive. So, uh, if I go through these games here, let me turn on my remote. Oops, seems like it went right into one. Let me go ahead and just press reset real fast. Alright, and that's nice. When you press reset, it just loads up back to the menu again. Although, you will have to go all through everything all over again. But it is a really... Um, uh, it's a really good alternative to uh, EverDrive. So you can see just with the titles on this here page, you're doing pretty good. Um, another really good selection here. Just everything here is pretty good, guys. You got all the final fights. So that alone can keep you busy. Um, what else do we got? Hyperzone, Dragons, uh, King of Dragons, King of Monsters. Uh, man, my uh, controller is a little dead, so it's acting a little faulty, guys. So that's why it keeps choosing games for me. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. It seems to be stuck on there. All right, guys. Yeah, batteries were just too dead, so just wasn't working right it takes two triple a so we'll go ahead and let me just flip through this for you guys real quick and if you need to see the games you can always pause it but it does come with a lot of good games guys just even lawnmower man which is a pretty good game after you get past the first levels it starts getting some crazy uh levels that are actually pretty good a lot of polygons and it tries to act like it's 3D. Lawnmower Man, you got uh, Mega Man 7, Mega Man X, uh, Micro Machines, which is pretty cool if you like those little tiny um, games where you drive the little cars around a little track. Uh, you got Ninja Turtles, Paperboy, man, Robocop versus the Terminator, I think that is. It just keeps going. You got a lot of R, super R-types. That alone right there, just on this page, is pretty good. Wild Guns. Uh, really good games, guys, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into one. We'll go into Super R-Type. It's a game where if, you're, uh, if it's messed up, it's just going to run wrong. So we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get rid of some more of that glare. So, so far, um, it look, it's working pretty good. This is not a video of how it looks. It's more of a video of how wild this cart 
cartridge works. Um, it seems now that I got less light, it's really struggling on focusing, but it does look really good. So far, there's like no mistakes. I don't see anything wrong. The sound sounds pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it play a little bit, guys. And then we'll go on to the next game because I don't want to waste too much time on this game. So I'm going to go ahead and just press start. Yeah, it doesn't look very good for you guys, but it, I mean, um, when it comes to how it looks, the picture, but it is playing just like it's supposed to. I'm not getting any slowdown or anything like that. Yep. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and press reset real fast. Back to the starting screen back a little bit and we'll choose something right off this first page which will be uh, Castlevania and go right into uh, Super or Normal or the Dracula which one yeah we'll go into this one um, see if I can get this better for us guys So far, this one's running right too. Nothing on this cartridge is going to run wrong, guys. Everything runs really good on it. It is very much like having the actual cartridge. So having this won't um, ruin your experience in any way. You'll actually have a better experience because you know you paid less and you're still playing the same good game. It's not being emulated, it's actually playing it, so that's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and reset again. And we're going to go into the next page over here. Uh, let's see. Cotton. Really good game, guys. Really good game. Let's try that one. But it's tough. It's a tough game. A lot of Super Nintendo's games were really tough. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sound on you guys really fast. That's the radio there. Sounds really good. I'm gonna press start. This game is just hard. But it's a really decent game if you like shoot 'em ups. I love shoot 'em ups. So let's go ahead and go. I'm trying to get this better for you guys. I think the one on Super, uh, Sega Genesis is better. It's not like a, it's a 3D experience. Not bad, guys. Let's go ahead and press reset again. Let's go to the third page here. Okay, one more. Come on. Alright, so let's see what do we got here. There's Lawnmower Man itself. Really good game, but I'm not going to go into that. 
because I think a lot of people can't stand it. Um, let's go here. Let's check out a regular Super Mario. Make sure that runs right. Sounds great. It looks pretty good. Sounds sounds just like a normal game. I have this game too. Although I'm not very good at this. Mario is uh, definitely not my strong point when it comes to gaming. See that? I should have known that, but I, ne I never played this game like the way everyone else did. But it is a great game, and just hearing the sound of it always brings back a certain memory from a certain time when I was a lot younger, a lot younger. And I really don't like bringing my childhood memories back because of video games because those days were a lot better and no matter how much you try to recreate that it's just not the same so just those times were better so I'm leaving them in better times so let's go ahead and press reset here uh, let's see what do we got on our next page here come on one more sorry about that guys this is There we go. So this is our last page, and we got we tried Super R Type already. Uh, let's try Wild Guns. Or in, oh, they even have a Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Down, that's a game. Let's try that out. I just watched the Mortal Kombat movie that was on HBO Max, and that King Kong and Godzilla movie was actually a lot better than the Mortal Kombat. So let's go to the options. Let's put this on a simpler level because I'm not very good at this. I know how to do some combos and stuff, but I'm way better at playing the actual game itself because there's like patterns that if you go off of, you can keep winning. On Super Nintendo, that doesn't happen. So it's really difficult. So far, everything's running good, and this game is uh, throws a fit if it doesn't work right. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. don't remember any finishing moves, so can't finish him, guys. I know that sucks. And I played that quite a lot, but I still suck at it. I, I mean, I played the normal game and just get beat down every time. There's Earth Warm Gym. We can try part two, see what that looks like. And this will pretty much, much be the last game. I don't want the video too long. Looks good, guys. I'm really liking the way it looks. Um, the only thing, if I was using 480p, I would have a lot better image quality because uh, the scan lines would be a lot thinner and it would look a lot better, guys. It really would. So I'm probably going to get me a, another converter that just does 480p. That doesn't look right. Alright, that's, that's what it looks like there. And uh, Earthworm Gym is, is, a, is a really good game, but I don't like it. Uh, 
so I have no idea how to play, I don't know anything about this game. But uh, I had a couple of friends that played it when I was younger, and they loved it, and it, it, it is, it's a decent game to just stand and watch, you know, sometimes you don't want to play, you just want to watch someone play. Uh, let's see, we'll do one last one here. Let's see, what do we got? Should I go in the final fight, guys? Final fight two, three. Uh, final fight or first samurai. Uh, what do we got here? Goof troop. Should I go into that or home alone? Nah, instead we'll go in here. This is a really good game too, guys. Not really sure how to pronounce that. But it's a good game. Very difficult. Man, that just won't let me focus in on it, guys. But it does look good. It looks pretty good to me, it does. That's pretty much the end of this one, guys. Go ahead and uh, fix all this. All right, guys. So, pretty good cartridge. Definitely recommend it. You can't go bad with this, even if you pay thirty dollars. Just one of these games is like forty bucks nowadays, because you know how people are. Um, they tend to think just because it's a retro game, it's worth a lot of money. But a lot of these uh, games that were that are on here sold millions of copies all around the United States. So there's tons of copies. So it's not really worth as much. It's only when you find a game that is retro and there wasn't that many copies made or sold in the U.S. Then you got something good. But a lot of these people have no idea. Get a Super Nintendo NES game and uh, they want to charge you the world for it. So... I definitely recommend this guys it's a nice cartridge you can also uh, open this up and get your own cartridge heat this up take the sticker off and put it into a, a see-through transparent one so uh, yeah pretty good cartridge guys definitely recommend that also I will be reviewing uh, this one real fast as well this is 501 uh, NES games cost a fortune too so buying one of these is really good. It plays pretty much the same way and even works in original consoles. So I'll do a little review on this one too. Uh, pretty soon. So thanks a lot for watching guys. And if I can, I will put the link to this one. Because when I checked, it, it was expired. It was uh, not there anymore. So I'll try to find a link for it and put it in the, in the description. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll be back with some more videos.